habit cultivation. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is not an act, but a habit. Aristotle We are all born to lead successful lives, but our conditioning leads us to failure. We are born to win, but are conditioned to lose. We often hear comments like, This person is just lucky. He touches dirt and it turns to gold. Or, He is unlucky. No matter what he touches, it turns to dirt. These comments are not true of anyone. If you were to analyze the lives of lucky and unlucky individuals being commented on, you'd find that the successful person is doing something right in each transaction and the failure is repeating the same mistake time and again. Practice does not make perfect. Only perfect practice makes perfect. Practice makes permanent whatever you do repeatedly. Some people keep practicing their mistakes and they become perfect in them. Their mistakes become perfect and automatic. Cultivating a habit is like plowing a field. It takes time. Habits generate other habits. Inspiration is what gets us started. Motivation is what keeps us on track. And habit is what makes it automatic. The ability to sow courage in the face of adversity. So self-restraint in the face of temptation, choose happiness in the face of hurt, so character in the face of despair, and see opportunity in the face of obstacles are all valuable traits to possess. But these traits do not just appear. They are the result of constant and consistent training, both mental and physical. In the face of adversity, our behavior, whether positive or negative, can only be what we have practiced. When we practice negative traits, such as cowardice or dishonesty in small events, and hope to handle major events in a positive way, it won't happen. Because that's not what we have practiced. If we permit ourselves to tell a lie once, it is a lot easier to do it a second and a third time until it becomes a habit. Success lies in the philosophy of sustained and abstain. Sustain what needs to be done and abstain from what is detrimental until this becomes habitual. Human beings are more emotional than rational. Honesty and integrity are the result of both our belief system and practice. Anything we practice long enough becomes ingrained into our system and becomes a habit. A person who is honest most of the time gets caught the first time he tells a lie, whereas a person who is dishonest most of the time gets caught the first time he tells the truth. Honesty or dishonesty to self and others become a habit. The choice is ours as to what we practice, whatever response we choose. Our thinking pattern becomes habitual. We form habits and habits form character. Before we realize that we have got the habit, the habit has got us. Someone once said, our thoughts lead to actions. Actions lead to habits, and habits form character. Character leads to destiny. Therefore, you should try to form character-building habits. Source, You Can Win by Siv Khera.